Okay. So we missed the train. Hey! I am so freaking. Oh! Please. Oh. Oh! Look, everybody, I'm going to keep this intro short and sweet. I have three scary games that we are going to get into in this episode. The first game has something that I have no clue about what's going on, but we're about to figure it out right now. If you guys are cool with that, you down with that? Everybody, get ready and buckle up, because here we go. First game of today's episode is called Three Headed Santa. This is from the same creator who made Night of the Consumers. It looks like somebody's running on a treadmill through the window, but little does this guy know that I really run this shit. So let's get this. Oh, are you going to kiss me with those lips? We can finally decorate the Christmas tree. Sweet. My favorite time of the year. I need to find five bubbles to place on the tree. Let's do this. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Okay, let me decorate you so hard. There you go. I love it when you have balls all over you. Let me get more of these. Thank you. I will take that. Feels like I'm killing somebody softly, right? Whenever I grab these things. This dude walks like his wife cheats on him. Damn! Never mind! My bad! Got honeys on honeys with this car. Come on, stop playing with me. Look at this. Look at this room room machine. I don't even know what this thing is called. I'm not a car enthusiast, but I know that's a baddie when I see it. Oh, no. One more ball. Okay, here we go. Bam! Damn, is that it? This Christmas tree is looking fire. Yes, I sir. just need to find something to put on the top and the Christmas tree will be completed. I want my tree to be better than everyone else's, so I am gonna put three stars on the top of mine. Yeah, he I looks think and he I left them like on my Lamborghini on in the garage. <laughs> in the Lambo. In the Lambie, baby. Let's put these fuckers on top of the Christmas tree. <laughs> I like this guy. This guy is me. Nice. Nice. Well, time to go to bed. It's Christmas tomorrow. Hell yes. Oh, dude. I can't show that. There's no way I can show that. I mean, his shit was tucked in, but I still can't show oh that Oh my part. god. It's Christmas Day. I can't wait to see what gift Santa has left me. I hope I got another Lambo. Wait a minute. Hey. I need to stop seeing to this dude's hole. What the? Who the hell stabbed my lampshade? It's supposed to be Christmas. Something isn't right. What's not right? Uh-oh. Why am I scared? Come on. Go downstairs. Why am I nervous? Oh! What's wrong with the Christmas tree? He's shaking in his shorts. He's shaking in his shanties. Where was that three-headed Santa? Did I go outside? What the fuck? Ah! Wow! Holy crap! Why is my present in the bathroom? What? I can't get off it! Stop! Yo, get my balls off this shit! No! Stop! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! What the heck? Get off me, you sicko! I can't get off. Help! Help! That actually scared the hell out of me when that bathroom door flew open. I need to stop looking at that. It's something that you can't see. It's like looking at a car crash. I just can't stop looking at it. At least I know I'm bigger than somebody. Where am I? I think I've been kidnapped. Kidnapped? And what the hell was that thing? Was it three-headed Santa Claus? Boy been telling lies with that Pinocchio nose. Ho, ho, holy shit. That thing's girthy. Dear Santa, this year can I please get another Highland Seal game? Keep it real, Santa. Michael, age eight. Santa's note. I bet this kid hasn't even played the original games. What a poser. I'm sending this little shitbag some coal. Yeah, you tell him, Santa. You tell him, Santa Claus. Oh, no. That says fun? Doesn't look like fun to me. Oh, dude, what the heck? Please. Oh. No! Dude! Was that another naked Santa? What? I need the key. The key to what? The Lambo? Always gotta get the key to the Lambo. My cheeks already feel clapped. <gasps> the key! My Vinky has the key! <laughs> Whoa, fuck! Sorry. I didn't think that bitch was gonna move. Let me out, let me out, let me out. I mean, let me out of your mind. Let me out of your mouth. Let me out of your soul. Stop. Damn, eat somebody else's ass for once. Fuck. There's a whole village full of elves. Why are you horny for my cheeks? Go here. Give me some. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, my nose is itchy. Great. Whoa. Chainsaw. God, I was gonna scratch my nose, too. Dude. Freaking double chainsaw elves? Double doggy style chainsaw elves, bitch. What am I even saying? I have no idea. I just gotta get the fuck out of here, dude. Please leave me alone. As long as I don't see another naked Santa. Hey, another you buff did guy. It too. 
did India. I did. I did it. I snorted it. Who the fuck It was are white, you? like snow, and I just... You also put three stars on the top of your Christmas tree? We were so foolish. We wanted to have a better Christmas tree than all the others. And now we must pay the ultimate price. You think that putting three stars on top of the Christmas tree has summoned three-headed <laughs> Santa and chainsaw minions? Yes. Okay? Damn, I think you're right. It's Christmas. I never wear clothes at Christmas. It's a celebration. I'm not even wearing pants. I'm halfway there. Nice. Whoa! I already knew it. I honestly already knew you were gonna die. You look like the type of character who was just made to die. I'm so glad that this dude doesn't have a big one. Because I would have had to censor a lot more. I've been a bad boy, Mr. Santa. But I'm not dying today. Am I gonna run? No! Fuck! Dude, that's not fair. That's not fair, three-headed Santa. Come on, man. How are you gonna do this to me? Fuck, 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 fuck. I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it. I think. Oh my goodness, where the hell do I go? Oh, real Santa, thank you. Oh, I always knew oh, you came in a helicopter. Oh. It's him. It's the real Santa. Hey man, use this. Nice. We got a supply drop from Sandy Claus. This freaking dude, man. Oh, double Uzi's, bitch. Thanks, Santa. That was next to my Christmas list, right next to- Oh! Right next to the Lambos! Die! Come on! You heard that voice crack. You know this shit's real. Die! Ugly three-headed Santa, bitch! Come on. Come on. Yeah, bloodbath. Baby said a bloodbath. Die! This dude just doesn't die. He's immortal. Santa, help me! Help me, I can't take this three-headed shit! Come on, 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 come on. This bitch Merry won't die. Christmas, oh. you three-headed cock-sucking son of a bitch. He said it not me, YouTube, so don't demonetize me. Demonetize this man right here. The end. Wow. The second game we are playing is called Torn Up 2. There's no transition, like in the free random game series. We're just speed running through these things. Late one winter polar night, you found yourself unable to sleep, awoken with a strange, uneasy feeling. With your mother fast asleep, you decide to move to the living room. With not much to do, you start reading an old book you found at the town bookstore earlier that day. Torn Up 2 is an evil creature originating from Alaskan folklore. Its physical form is described as having both human and reindeer characteristics. It has the head of a reindeer, but with human teeth, which wrap around its entire face. It has the body of a man, but with hooves for feet. Its skin is pale white, but is covered in black fur and has eyes that glow in the night. It is said to be especially tall when on its hind legs and capable of walking like a human. However, it is also capable of galloping like a deer and can travel at high speeds in an almost floating manner. Basically, I'm effed in my A, aren't I? Okay, well, that's enough reading for tonight. There's really nothing to... What was that? I was gonna say, there's really nothing to do in this game. Kind of just wandering around. My book is emanating some nut dust. So let's check it out. The Tornuck 2 is said to only be seen in the months of November through January. During these months, Alaska experiences a time of darkness, also known as polar night, where the sun ceases to rise. It is believed that Tornuck 2 is unable to attack outside of these months due to a weakness to the sun. What a little bitch. Once the polar night starts, the Tornuck 2 is said to be starving and will begin its hunt, invading people's homes and eating them. It is believed that the Tornuck 2 targets those who build their homes far from others in secluded places. Thus, to be safe from an attack, people should live closely to one another. Do I live far away? It looks like there's nobody in sight. Holy crap. Two socks? That means there's only two people living here. That means I'm dying. Do I just keep running around? There's nothing coming from the book. So that means I just wander around again? Yeah, I heard that thing about Alaska. I heard that thing that um, there's like 30 days of night or something like that, right? Mom? You Gooch in there? Are you Gucci or Louie? Or Chanel or Fendi? Bro. Oh! What the? What are you doing out there? What the f- That's the ugliest bitch I've ever seen! Okay, let me open the book. The Tornuck 2 is said to only be seen in the months of November through January. We read that. Wait, did it get closer? It got closer, didn't it? Wait. Let me see what happens if I close the book again. I swear it got a little bit closer. No? Yo, why are you so ugly, my guy? I'm a little freaked out. 
But I'm more curious than anything. <gasps> the door's open. I didn't even hear that bitch creak open, though. <gasps> Another one of these mother suckers? Oh, I can't go outside. Because I'm just a kid. <gasps> what the? Bro! Who is putting these snowmen out here? There's a lot of men out here. They better not be trying to talk to my mom. Come on, man. I can't handle another stepdad. This ain't it. This ain't it. These snowmen are built different. I know snowmen. They're not going to treat my mom right. They're just going to be with her for a little while. Then they're going to leave and abandon her and just melt out of the picture. Let's see what this says. A sign torn up to his nearest finding snowmen like figures which are said to have faces of the dead. No wonder they're so ugly and smell like human corpses. I was going to say that they smell like butt cheeks, but hey, you know, it wasn't my place. It is believed such figures will surround a house before the torn up to attacks. Another sign it might be near is excessive feelings of fear or distress with no direct cause. Well, I don't fear that at all. Or I don't feel that at all. You know what I mean, snowman? Um, so yeah. Every time this shit's sprinkling and shining, then I should be scared for my life, huh? Wait a minute. No way. Oh shit. <gasps> Whoa! Is that the Tornuck 2? Bro, I haven't even seen Tornuck 1 yet. I'm not ready for the sequel. Okay, we gotta wake up mama. We gotta wake up mummy. Mummy! Mommy, there's a smiling bitch outside. He used his Colgate too. Dude has a perfect smile. He should be in a commercial. Oh, okay. Here we go. Another one. Another chapter. The Tornak 2 also carries a bag made of fur, which it uses to steal children from the house it attacks. It is unknown where the children go when they are taken. Some say the Tornak 2 eats their soul to attain immortality. Others that it keeps them to eat through the rest of the year. Okay. Well, please don't eat me. That's all I want for Christmas. I beg of you. Oh, no. This is not good. This is not good. Was that light always on? Oh no. Mom? <laughs> Yo, someone got into some guts. And not in the good way. I'm screwed. I'm screwed! There's only two socks on top of the chimney! I already know I'm the only one left in this bitch! Oh shit. Okay. Typical logic for a kid to do after the mom gets clapped. Read a book. It is believed the only way the Tornuck 2 can die is to starve to death. So once it finds a house to attack, there is nothing that can be done to stop it. Well, you're the man. I'm screwed! I am so freaking Wow! Oh! Mom? Damn. Oh my fuck. What is that? Bro got a cannon! What the I'm dead. I'm dead! Bro, help! Bro! I couldn't move. I basically got sucked into that bag. Last game of today's episode that we are gonna play is called Thomas the Shank Engine. Everybody knows Thomas the Train, right? It's like one of the most famous trains there is. Looks like I fell asleep waiting for the train. Wait, where am I? At the train station, you freaking bozo. But yeah, is Thomas the Train still a thing? Or am I showing my age here? I don't know. But this man is at the train station and he forgot where he was. So I don't even know how that works. Like, how do you forget where you are? Bye, have a great time. All right. Well, we literally just missed the train. We could see the caboose. The caboose is loose. What kind of train station is this? In the middle of a freaking graveyard? Okay. So we missed the train. Hey! Whoa. Holy crap. Um. Wait. Wait. How are you riding with no tracks? Let me out of here. Let me out of here, my guy. Come on, man. Oh, fuck. This is not good. Oh, that is terrifying. The radio. Oh, my! This is ridiculous. This one? 
kind of time to get used to one time, so, so it could be a few of them to power up the effort. Should I shut off my battery? I'm losing it really fast. Oh, this wasn't here before. All right, thank you. Oh boy. This is not good. This is actually a lot creepier than I was expecting it to be. Cause I was like, there's no way the train can scare me if I'm not on the tracks, right? Wait. Wait! Okay, we gotta go before this person comes. Hold! I have to go as soon as I'm able to run, okay? Like, we start from a crawl, and we go immediately into a sprint. Just like babies do in real life. So go right here, right here. Yeah, buddy. What? Oh, God. Just wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. This dude could go sideways, too? Sideways with the shits? Oh, God. Okay. And then he immediately makes a right. A sharp turn. I think that I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Let's wait, let's wait, let's wait. Okay. This is weird. I'm basically in a freaking maze. Wait, why is there something blue here? <gasps> nice! What? Enter code? I have no idea. Uh, one, two, three... Four? Fuck. Two, one, two, five, Beverly Hills, nine, oh, two, one, oh. I have no idea. Okay, let's wait for this dude. Holy moly. Okay, I have to look for a code somewhere. In one of the butt cheeks of this tunnel. Oh, shit! Turn, 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 turn! Fuck! Whoa. Oh, that was close. I have barely any battery left. I'm dead, aren't I? Wait, there's something right here. Oh, don't, don't. What is this? Security code 6453. 6453. 6453. 6453. If I forget this on the way there, I'm gonna punch myself in the face. And I might punch myself in the dick. I don't know. I might do both at the same time. You know? Get yeah, both heads going. 6453. Right? 6453? Please. 6. 4. 5. What? 6. 4. Come on. Five, three. What is this shit? Six, four, five, three. Why is it doing it like that? Six, five, four, three. I don't understand. Six, one, five, one. Six, one, five, one, everybody. And then I have to go back over there. Because I think I have to go through a door once I put the code. Six, one, five, one. Six, one, five, one. If I don't get this right, you ain't gonna do shit. Six, one, five, no, five, one. I don't understand. Six, come on, six, six, one, five, one. Why is it saying five, one, six, one? I had to do it backwards. What the hell? I had to do the code backwards. Instead of 6151, I had to do 1516. This shit doesn't even make any sense. Get off me. Get me in this. Woo! I can't believe I had to enter the number backwards. There was nothing that was like a sign that I had to input it the other way. Like there wasn't like a mirror image or anything. And this is your way home? This is how you get home every night? Damn, don't miss the train, everybody. This is the kind of the shit that happens when you miss the train. Or you do some hardcore drugs. Or both. Maybe you'll do hardcore drugs on the train. What the? I can't move. What do you want me to do? Bro, this man's... Look at me. Look at me. Come on, so I can get a thumbnail. Man, whatever, you centipede-looking bitch. I guess I just make it to the other side. Right? Oh, crap. What the fuck is this shit? What kind of acid was this game on? What is that? What is that? The hell is that, the ocarina of time? It's a train whistle. I'm about to twerk and make my ass whistle. What the? Add a battery.
out of fucks to give. All right. Um, that's going to do it for this episode of Three Scary Games. I didn't want to put this in a free random games episode. I just found these games and I was like, you know what? Let's just put them in their own episode. So hopefully you all enjoyed watching. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude. <laughs>